Red Feather from Grepax. In this Krita video, we will be showing you how to place an image as the color of the text. This Krita project is pretty simple. Although, if the procedures I am about to show you are not followed, it will most likely not work. Open Krita. Notice, as I show you, I am using version 442. Although, to ease your minds, I have tested this procedure in earlier versions as well, and it is the same. I would like to point out, in earlier versions, you could not import a photo by dragging it to the face of Krita and have Krita auto open. And although the procedure may work by doing it that way, it will just complicate matters. So we will use another procedure to import our image. Create a new canvas. Once your new canvas appears, go to the toolbox, clicking on the T text tool. Then go to the canvas, drawing a box so as the text editor appears. Type what you would like to say. For this critic example, we will just use the letter G. It would be best to have all letters in caps and choose the highest font size as we will try to achieve the most robust look so as our image complements the text. Also, the text color must be set to black. Then save and close the text editor. Once this is done in Krita, do any centering necessary. Then go to the toolbox, clicking on Transform a Layer or Selection tool. Then go to the canvas, resizing your text to a good and proper size. Once this is done in Krita, go to Layers. Click on the plus sign in order to add a new layer. Then go to the title bar. With the new layer highlighted, click File. Scroll down to Import Animation Frames and click. Once the Krita Import Animation window appears, click Add Images. Navigate to the image you would like to use. Highlight the image and then click Open. Once you return to the Add Image window, click OK. Once your image or frame, if you will, appears, go to your Krita layer labeled Background Layer or whatever layer is the bottom layer. Make sure it is unlocked. Then click the A symbol. Then go to the layer holding the image, clicking its A symbol. Both should now have a line through the A and the image should have disappeared from sight. In order for this to work, the Krita layer holding the image must be above the vector layer. Click the A on the layer holding the image so as it reappears. Having the Krita image layer highlighted, go to the toolbox 
clicking on the Move tool. Go to the canvas, moving the image over the text. Go back to the Credit Toolbox, clicking on the Transform Layer or Selection tool. Then, on the canvas, grabbing the edges so as to expand the image to cover every area of the text. Once this is done in Krita, go back to Layers, click on the A once again of the layer that contains the image, so as the image will now appear within the text only. Once this is done in Krita, before adding a background color to the project, first we must merge the layers. So right click on the layer holding the image, scroll down to merge with layer below. Keep doing so until the image is merged with the vector layer. Once this is done, the Krita vector layer should be labeled as a paint layer, most likely layer two. So highlight paint layer one, grabbing the bucket tool from the toolbox, picking a color from the color picker and to the canvas and click. Once this is done and you are happy, you can then export your text as a PNG or use it further on the Krita timeline. Here is the project in a full text version utilizing the same image. I hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not Become a subscriber and ring that bell in order to receive notifications of newly released videos your way. <laughs> oh my goodness, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu. One. Thank you in advance. I am out.